Zoomers, we already talked about the man shaver uh, lawnmower 3.0, okay? This isn't for you. You guys need to get out of here, right? We've already advertised to you. We've already sold products to you. I'm talking to the boomers, okay? I'm talking to the guys that are 27, 28, 29 even. 30 years old even, okay? You guys have gotten all cleaned up downstairs. What are you going to do when it's time to clean up upstairs, aka in your nose? God damn, do I have a deal for you, okay? Mmm, man. I feel like I'm breathing in a whole new world for my right nostril now. So much better than it was before. God damn, that's some good shit. That's some addictive stuff. It's awesome. It's got proprietary skin safe technology, okay? Look, no pain at all. It's flawless. It's called the Weed Whacker, actually. Psych, just kidding. Made some of you guys look it up, though. Glad I did, because now you're going to go and buy it, okay? It's got a powerful lithium-ion battery. They can charge this bad boy, last for 90 minutes, okay? 90 minutes, 9,000 rotations per minute, okay? That's with the motor. 360-degree rotary dual-blade system. You can do the math for how many rotations that is, okay? 90 minutes times 9,000. That's a lot of rotations, boy, okay? Oh, ugh, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, I feel like my brain is being oxygenated in ways that it never has been before. I have never felt so much fresh, clean oxygen zooming into my body. I feel like I'm a young man of 20 again. What an amazing device, okay? It's called the Weed Whacker, okay? This is for the boomers only, okay? Zoomers, you don't have hair here yet, okay? Click the link below in the description, okay? Click it, buy it trim your nose stuff, okay? Good luck. You know what's the e-girl that Fed fell for? Which, is that the one from the, from the website that he rented or whatever? Wait, did she actually see him in real life, or... I thought it was just online shit. Yes, Fed traveled to her? Wait, even after it was discovered that she was faking playing online with her boyfriend, or with a guy or something? Oh, holy shit. Hundred <laughs> percent, dude. Holy shit, that's sick. I don't know if I can. I think I might get back together with my boyfriend. Okay, well, listen. Whatever you do, I'll support you. Okay. I think I am gonna get back together with my boyfriend. See ya, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry. Basically. Ah, uh, what a what a what a memer. <laughs> Fed has crazy yellow fever. I don't trust any. My favorite one was when Jade was streaming. She was like, "Listen, I know that Fed has manipulated all these girls and everything, but I like him because he's my friend. Because he's been nice to me and he helped me when I was vulnerable." <laughs> like, huh? Interesting that he would do that. Oh, so apparently she was saying about getting back together with her ex. He said he'll support her, whatever she does. But I think he was just saying that to...
to make her feel like he was being comfortable with her or whatever. And then after she said she's going to get back together with him, he's like, oh, well, I realize I have feelings for you and I don't want to be friends with you anymore ever. I got to think about my own feelings. And then later that day he streams, I got a message from a fan about him calling me a bitch. Talked to Fred about it. We both agreed that nothing was improving. I was emotionally cheating on my ex because talking to Fred was only building my feelings for him, so that ended, and Fed and I slowly built our relationship. I would white knight you so hard, you know what doesn't matter. I could say anything against it and people would eat it up. <laughs> Damn, leveraging that stream. Fed reassured me it was just for content, all the shipping and how he would rather be making content with me, but his career wasn't ready for that and neither was I. The streams became extremely intense. And out of my comfort, I didn't feel like I had a reason to bother him with it since he already tried to reassure me. <laughs> Please respond. <laughs> Why does this always happen? <laughs> oh my god. Please read or it's just two people who just ugh. He ended up getting really upset, and of course I spent hours comforting him and blaming myself. We called for a bit, and he ended up pulling a suicide card on me, and I was shocked, but I was firm with my decision. Holy shit. Huh. <sighs> Jesus. Oh 
Then continue. On. This reminded me earlier that night he had sent me seven hundred twenty dollars to fix the 100%. back of my phone voluntarily. What? Oh my god. Any hey, here's like um here's like a meme. I saw the Lily DGGPMC. I got it. Just Kane, lol, funny joke. Stop. Don't care. Stop linking him, please. I don't care. Okay. Um, any white guy that tells you that they have a massive thing for Asian chicks is a massive red flag in and of itself. I think I have determined that one hundred percent. White guys are obsessed with Asian women. Want quiet women that don't say shit. That are submissive as fuck. That play some weird ninety five percent of the time. Okay. 95% of the time. It's true. <laughs> Stay mad. What are you doing? Someone pulls a suicide card on you? How true was Destiny's statement about white guys having a thing for Asian women? True. Um, ask him not to include me in the note, I guess. I don't know, dude. You can't... Dude, someone else wants to kill themselves. That's on them, man. That's not your responsibility. Imagine Pokey coming out defending Fed after everything on, on the Ratchler. Oh, shit, that's right. Does this do with Pokey moving out? Wait, did Pokey move 